Hello sweet sweet souls, welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you've had a really blessed few days. So this week what we are going to be doing is do they miss you? And I've got two decks for you to pick from. Both of these are new to my collection. I got them at the conference. Uh, this one is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot and this is the White Newman Tarot. Both are Liminal and Eleven decks. Um, so if you, you're interested in it, any of them, those days, Liminal Eleven is the site you want to check out. Cosmic Slumber, White Newman. Pick your deck. Okay, let's go. So deck number one, um, as you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between the girls. Let me repeat myself each week with that. Um, but I hope you've all had a really good time and I really hope that you're going to like this deck as much as I do. So think about your person for me. Let's get into your person's thoughts, feeling energy, overall thought processes. And let's have a look at what's going on. So there is a variety of energies coming through as I step into you and your person's energy. So I'm getting, first of all, a song uh, by a band called Finch, say, um, which had the song Letters to You. I always see it in like a, I always see a white letter with like a little pink heart over the seal of the envelope. Um, so that's signifying straight away that there will be some kind of communication between you guys. Why I'm saying that is if you've ever read Lenorma or Lenormand, if you want to sound really British, <laughs> um, it's often a sign of communication. Okay, so there is a, a specific card in Lenorma called Letter and it is a sign of communication coming through. And the fact that Spirit is showing me that to begin with clairvoyantly, it's saying that there will be communication with you guys. And as I was saying, right at the top, we've got the Tower Energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull this card because it's staring at me in the face. But through this Tower is where the communication is going to come through. So your person, at the moment, they're probably... I'll have a look at their specific cards in a second, but where the communication is going to come in is when they have this bit of a wake-up call. So they're going to wake up and smell the coffee, uh, realise that they do miss you. We'll look at the current energies in a second, but the future energy, they're going to realise that they do miss you and make this leap of communication. So I'm going to keep the tower out. Do they miss you? Let's have a look. Let's see what the current energy is. So we know the future energy is uh, that they will do. The current energy... To do they miss you? Okay, let's stop here. Let's take both of those. Um, okay, so the current energy is that there is this conflicting and the conflicting heart versus head emotions. So straight off the bat, yes, they do miss you, and this tower is going to hit. And when this tower hits, that's when that communication is going to open up between you. So reason why I'm saying that, we've got the five of wands over here. So they are feeling conflicted by the situation. They want, if you're not in communication, they want to reach out to you because they have had a realisation of their emotions with the Queen of Cups next to it. But they're playing for time. Why are they playing for time? Let's have a look. Why haven't they reached out? Why have your person not reached out? Whee! Okay. All right. So you've got the Four of Swords and you've got the Wheel of Fortune and you also have the Ace of Wands. So your person hasn't reached out to you at the moment because they're having a little bit of a breather from the situation. They potentially, some of you guys, they've said stuff to you to push you away and they're wanting to save face and not say to you, oh, come back to me, come back to me. I'm going to stick with my word. I'm going to stick with my guns. Um... Other than that, it's like it's just taking a bit of a breather, having a step back from the situation. They might have, you might have felt that you've been going around in a bit of a loop with them, that you've been going around in a bit of a cycle. They've either decided to break the cycle, you've decided to break the cycle. Whatever specifically happened, you've been like both of you have been like, right, I'm going to focus on these new beginnings. And the reason why your person hasn't reached out to you yet is because they want to save face, but they are conflicted in their emotions for you. Okay, so they do have very very strong feelings for you. They do absolutely miss you but the reason why they aren't talking to you at the moment is because they don't want to uh, if they've said something to you they don't want to back down stubborn 
really really stubborn is probably the right word with the chariot and the queen of swords over here you have again this communication will be coming through to you and um, there is movement coming towards you the sun chariot the moon chariot the masculine the feminine remember never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but the sun and the moon chariot making headway towards you movement swift swift movement and i just got a scene from gladiator don't not that you're going to go to war but i just got the scene from gladiator where the chariots are really moving through the arena and it's like they are going to come towards you and put up a very very strong fight for you with the queen of swords next to it so they're coming back and they'll put up a really good fight so if you are waiting for an apology it is likely that you are going to get it um they are missing you they do want to speak to you they just have to wait for this tower to erupt let's have a look what's going to cause the tower the tower, uh, for those of you that don't understand tarot, tower and tarot, my accent makes them sound really similar. Um, it's when everything kind of falls down around you. It's a card of collapsing. It's a card of things. Yeah, everything falls down around you. So it has to be rebuilt. So when we're looking at does your person miss you, the tower is likely to be there's going to be a wake up call for them uh, to realise how much they miss you. And even though they're missing you at the moment, they, like I said, they're saving face on it at this point in time. So what's going to cause the tower with you guys? What's going to cause the tower and make them make their way back to you? Okay, King of Wands. So they're just gonna have they're just gonna have a realization. It's potentially that they're gonna see someone else is attracted to you. So if you're on social media and someone is liking all your pictures or they're thinking that they're gonna be commenting on your pictures, they're gonna be a little bit jealousy going on over there. Uh, the King of Wands, he really speaks about passions. So it's gonna be this passionate energy between the two of you. Perhaps they're missing the sex that you guys shared together. Um, it's really following those passions is gonna be what makes this tower hit they're going to realize that they have never uh, had these same feelings as they have for you they've never dated anyone the way that they dated you and they've never had this stirring of their passion stirring of their loins so to speak with their emotions for you and that is what's going to cause this movement back to you um, if you want to look at individual timings just give me a shout um, I do email readings which is 24 to 48 hour turnaround and I also have space available for video readings so just give me a shout mrlovetaro at gmail.com and that my loves is deck number one so yes they do miss you they're just uh, being stubborn about it I'm actually going to pull you one of these I got these um, at the weekend at the tarot conference and they've only just been released in england so i got them a couple of days early um and they are the oracle of the witch so if you're not into witchery and um, turn away you know um, but i found i really like the colors of them and i really like the imagery um so i got them a bit early because i'm very very lucky so can i have a card please for deck number one what they need to know about the person missing them let's see what we get okay mother fulfillment Okay, so this is a card of you giving birth to your dreams. Have a think about what it is that you really, really want from this connection. Where do you want this connection to go? You are in this very mothering energy. So that can also be a mother of children, but it also speaks a bit like the Empress about your dreams coming true. Um, you're manifesting really, really rapidly. So just keep your thoughts high. Remember, it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to manifest into reality. Keep your thoughts high. Know what you want and go for it and that with the connection between the two of you if you want that communication that can come forward with this mother card and i like the way the weeping willow is kind of going over the top um recalling pocahontas and how grandmother willow the old ancient spirits led the way you are being guided divinely okay so do remember that as well and that is deck number one okay right let's go to deck number two so i'm just going to have a quick spread so we switch the energy up change direction let's go let's go let's go just put the box lid on before they collapse over deck number two so let's see what's going on with you guys this is also one of my new decks. Uh, first time I think I've used this in a reading for someone. First time, I think. Have a think about your person for me. Can I get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? And let's get the mutual energy between you all. And Spirit just told me to tell you that readings are timeless depending on where you, when you're watching it. It doesn't matter. So if they give any timings, it will be from that point that you're watching the reading. I just want to reiterate that to you. So they're obviously going to give you some timings on this. Okay, deck number two. Does your person miss you? Do 
do they miss you? So I was I was getting songs then, but I've never heard of the songs that they are singing. Um, so the song that I got, God, you've got a lot of ones energy. The song that I got was um, Never Wonder So Far, but I don't know who the song is and I don't know who sings that. I can just hear the specific lyric, like you've never wandered so far, or it's something along those lines and it's coming through my right ear, so it's coming from spirit. Um, and it does feel to be a song does feel to be a song so I'm sure if one of us googles the song lyrics you'll find out specifically what song it is but that is what I am hearing so looking at your cards you have major major ones energy so the two of you there is a lot of passion there is a lot of sexual chemistry there is a very very strong connection between you both Okay, really, really strong. You are literally, the only other one you got was a swords and a major arcana. You got the nine of swords and the hierophant. So you're missing pentacles energy. You're missing cups energy. So this is saying to me off the bat, your person hasn't told you how they have been feeling about you. They haven't expressed their emotions. You probably haven't known where you have stood with your person. You, you haven't got a clue you've they've like left you in the dark and you're there thinking well what where does it go now what's actually really interesting about this card is the magnetism between the two of you so it's possible that you've had a bit of an explosion a hurricane tornado situation what's left in the middle big explosions and the reason why is because your passions are very very strong between the two of you so it's not a run-of-the-mill connection it's very very intense very powerful energy between you guys so when we're looking at the energy of do they miss you, we have got the six of wands and the ace of wands. So this right away says, yes, they do miss you. Your six of wands is a card of victory. It's a card of success. It's a definite yes, they miss you. With the ace of wands next to it, it's almost as if they haven't actually wandered that far. It could be that you guys are still in communication and they might have gone a little bit quieter or been a little bit standoffish with you. Um, but they are still very much lingering in the background, focusing on the two of you. They want to meet up. They want to hook up. They want to have fun with you. They want to enjoy the connection. So if you're worried, wondering, are they missing you and you guys are still talking? Um they yeah they they are missing you but they haven't had chance for this kind of situation to develop between the two of you at this moment in time so very very strong very passionate energy coming up there's potentially quite a bit of jealousy involved in the situation as well so whether it's your jealousy whether it's your person's jealousy there is that i want to say pink flag coming into this um jealousy will bring be what pulls you two back together okay so if you are that that song about or, or the lyric at the start about never letting you wander so far they're not going to let you go very easily they haven't you might feel that they've vanished into the sunset but they haven't they are still lingering in the background jealousy will drive them back towards you which um you could say is a very devil card energy it's very kind of codependent it's that addiction energy between you guys um you, you haven't broken out this cycle so they're still very much engaged in your energy when i talk about addiction energy uh with regard to relationships it's that point of um wanting to ha when you're with them you have the highest of highs everything's amazing everything's great even in communication you have that very very strong energy between the two of you and then when it comes to a bit of a close you hit the rock bottom and you, you you kind of coast your way along until you get that higher energy coming in again and that is going on between the two of you your person also might have been a little bit on self-defense with you the reason why for that is if you've been trying to talk to them about emotions and you felt a bit of a brick wall it's because they have fears over the situation they have um a bit of a worry over it all let's look what that worry is what is the worry why are they worried about this connection and having fears Okay, it's because they don't want to feel like they're backed into a bit of a corner over it all. Um, they know what you want from the connection. They know that you have feelings for them. Um, they see you in a very strong, powerful energy. You're sassy, sassy, sexy, powerful. They see you in that Queen of Swords energy. Um, and that, you know, kind of scares them a little bit. And they're thinking, well, if you guys watching don't get your own way, you're going to cut me off. 
So, and Dua Lipa coming in then, so you cut me off. So they're not really expressing emotions to you at the moment um, because they don't really know how it's going to be perceived. Also from that side of you, um, often when they feel a little bit vulnerable or a little bit, your, your people, if they feel a little bit vulnerable, they're not very good at expressing emotions. So that's why sexual energy often drives a connection like this. You've got the Five of Wands and the Hierophant coming up at the top. So you have a conflicting energy. Again, it's kind of a heart versus head energy. With the Hierophant stepping in, um, this is kind of speaking the truth of a situation, being a truth teller, being a guide, um, and everything kind of coming together. So through these two cards together, it's like they are being conflicted over the truth of the situation. They aren't acknowledging where this connection could go. They aren't acknowledging their true feelings for you. There is very much a mask being worn here because of their fear and also because they worry that if you, if they don't give you what you want, if they don't give you what you want, just trying to work out if I phrase that right, that you're going to vanish into the sunset um, and quite rapidly as well. And that's why it hasn't massively gone the distance between the two of you at the moment. Do they miss you? Well, like I said, they don't feel that they're out of your energy, so they haven't had massive chance to miss you. Overall, it is a yes, um, but they also need, need to... Um, really have more time away from you to miss you even more so with that being said i'm just going to pull you an oracle witchy card if you're not into this kind of deck um probably want to turn off now but they are i've i really loved them you know what i'm like for a creepy deck um and when it comes to witchery and magic i am druid uh, rather than wiccan or witch um but i was really really cool to this deck and i just love it and i think it's perfect for halloween so let's just get a card for deck number two what do they need to know? My deck number twos, my beautiful mystic tribe. What you got? Charms, enchantment. Oh, I like that. Okay, so first off here, we've got mirror energy. So you two are possibly mirroring each other, um, having the same kind of thoughts, having the same kind of emotions. Normally with a mirroring energy, when you guys start to feel better about the situation is when your person starts to feel a little bit... Um, worse about the situation and that is where the contact comes in so you kind of mirror at polar opposites uh remember that and the spirit showed you the magnets at the start the magnet magnetic connection between the two of you the power that is shared and um, sometimes you draw together and sometimes you can repel but it's just because the passion between the two of you with the card being a card of enchantment this is saying that you guys have the power in your hands they are so drawn to you and they are so attracted to you and they have such a strong chemistry with you that it's actually really in your hands how you let this happen, how you let it unfurl. You enchant them. You are the magic that draws them to you. And that being said, that's why when we're looking at your tarot cards and you had the Queen of Swords and we said, well, you know, they are scared of losing you. They are scared of stepping away from the situation or running away from it, um, that they would lose you forever. And again, that kind of shows your power over this. So even if you're not in contact and you're feeling like they have vanished into the sunset, they are still very much there. They still want to talk to you. They still want to communicate with you. Um, and you are the one that is in control of this. OK, use this one's energy this really powerful connection use that creative energy to harness this relationship in the way you want it to go and that leads you to being the uh, man woman of enchantment it's there it's all there for you all right guys and that is deck number two so yeah they do miss you um but it's kind of not really gone anywhere for them to really really miss you all right guys love you lots and i will speak to you soon if you need me just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com or dm me on instagram or facebook love you ciao